thank you for visiting the uh, gang. I want to show you why it's so important for you to learn how to short the market, for God's sakes. It is terrible to think. In the last 10 years, you've made no money in the stock market. If you went in the S&P, if your planner put you in the S&P or anything in the market, in the last 10 years, you didn't make any money. The reason you didn't make any money is because they only let you do one side of the market. Now, here's this S&P. It's the S&P 500, for heaven's sakes. Look at this. In the last decade, you started right over here. Here's where you started, and here's where you finished. How pathetic that is. Now, think about this. All you had to do is be able to short the trend. When the, when the trend was down, the trend is your friend. If you shorted this, shorted this, you would have been up 45%, but instead you lost 45%. Think about that. How ridiculous. Then over here, we've been short ever since here. And we've been short this market all the way down. Think about it. And we picked up 45%. But here's the beautiful thing. Not only that, but we also picked up the rallies. So if you were a gang member, or if you understood charting, you would have caught this rally on the way up, and you would have caught this rally here. Now, let's think in the last 10 years, if all you did is play the S&P, SPY, the spiders, that's all you did, and used the chart. Every time that you made money, you gave it all back. How stupid that is. Now, I'm not calling you stupid. The idea is stupid, is pathetic that you would stay in and fight the trend. Now, who put that stupidity on you? Guess who? Your planner. Your broker. He's telling you don't short. Think how stupid that is. Don't, don't short the market. Why? He says it's dangerous. It is not dangerous. It's dangerous only to him. So let's think about it. In the last 10 years, these stupid, pathetic planners had you give all your profits back. All your profits back. That is absolutely ridiculous. When all you had to do is short. And there are no more dangerous shorting than going long. They only give you one half the market. Why? Because they don't make money when the market's going down. Only you make money, not them. They don't like that. So they tell you to hold, and you'll be just fine. Then they give you this nonsense. Oh, if you hold markets a long time, if you hold stocks for a very long time, just forget about it. Put them away. Don't manage them. Don't look at them. Don't worry about them. Just let them, just, just put money in, and I'll take care of it for you. And years down the road, when you're ready to retire, you're going to be in good shape. Oh, really? Here's what happened in the last 10 years. More than not, more than not making money. Think about this. The loss of time, 10 years you lost. That's more important than the money. That's more valuable. You, don't, you can't make up time. We always can make up money, but we can't make up time. You should be angered. Don't let this happen again. Don't ever let this happen again. So there you have it. That's why you've got to learn how to short the market. So instead of being down 40%, you would have been up 40%, up 40%. And then you would have put that on top of your rallies right here. You would have had a heck of a 10 years. Now you're ready to retire. Now, think about this. This is the S&P, okay, exchange-traded fund. Why do you think the market, they, they, these guys on Wall Street, have been spending billions of dollars to lie to you and tell you and convince you not to be in the spiders? They tell you not to be in exchange-traded funds. I'll tell you why, because they're lying again. Because if you take $400,000 and put it in a mutual fund, take $400,000, put it in the spiders, SPY, leave them in for the same 10 years with the same rate of return. Do you know at the end of 10 years you make 250000 actually 263000 more on the spiders than you do the mutual funds? Where's that 263000 goes? It goes to the pockets of your planner and the guy managing your mutual fund. Those are called expenses. Think about that. They picked up 263000 in expense money off of you, and you lost it. So that's why they spend billions to tell you, stay out of exchange-traded funds. 
They tell you they're no good. They tell you they're almost like day trading. They come up with more lies about it, just like they do with mutual about shorting. Don't short. Don't short. They tell you it's dangerous. So they tell you not to short, and they also tell you don't go into exchange traded funds. Well, that's not working anymore. People are catching on to these liars. So there you have it. So Saturday, I'm going to do a class on how to short individual stocks. How do you know? How do you know? At what point do you know that the market is going to have what we call a key reversal? That's what we call a key reversal. Where, where, how do you know when they're going to have the key reversal? And that's right here. I'll teach you that. And that's right here. I'll teach you that as well. These are called key reversals. The market will send you a message and let you know there's a very high probability we're going to have a key reversal, reverse the other way. So this will be worth at $60. You're investing $60, for heaven's sakes, to learn how to know when the market's going to turn on you and how to benefit from it. Please, the next time, learn how to short the market. And you don't need a you don't need a, 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 a some guy running a mutual fund for you. Well, you nuts. You can do this yourself with some simple, uh, easy uh, uh, understanding of charts, for heaven's sakes. Okay? Look, even if you don't want to short and make money, at least know when you get out. When do you get out? The charts tell you when the institutions are getting out, and you follow them. I knew exactly when to get out here because the institutions were getting out. I knew when to get out here. I also knew when to get in. You follow institutions. So this Saturday for 60 bucks, okay, come to my site. Do sign up for the shorting class for this uh, Saturday. You're also going to learn about how to use volume to your advantage, too. Okay? All right. We'll see you on the charts.